Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I am glad that you are back. Okay, so today this read is just going to be for whoever it's meant to be for, okay? It is what it is. <laughs> I need to stop. I hope you guys are doing okay. All right, today is Thursday, all right? So, I got some... I got some messages for you guys. I feel like spirit is definitely wanting you guys to take a break or to rest more or to find time to rest because um, spirit has a plan and they're working everything out for you, okay, behind the scenes. So rest assured that everything that's happening right now is for your benefit if that makes sense okay that's for somebody also um the card of the day that keeps flipping out is the tower card and the four of swords so something wild is gonna happen or someone's gonna be put to rest okay that's on a darker note but we're not gonna go there okay I also would like to say thank you for all the donations that I have received and thank you guys for all the super thanks and thank you for um, all the personal readings. I love you guys. I love meeting you. It really is fun. Okay. It's fun for me at least. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, um, and this card keeps staring at me. So I feel like whatever... Either actual money is returning to you, okay? Or some form of abundance is coming back to you, okay? Whatever you have been putting out, it's coming back to you. Now, abundance doesn't have to be money. It could be anything that you deem is abundant or that makes you feel abundant. This could even be your peace of mind is going to be returning to you, okay? It could be as simple as that, all right? But um, this card also fell out when I was trying to shuffle this and put it here on my table. Um, Spirit also wants you to know that you are highly thought of, okay? Hold on. Okay, and then before, for, before I forget, I would like to say thank you to Eileen. She sent me a beautiful package. I have not opened it, but I'm going to open it right now, okay? Okay, let <laughs> me get this. Eileen, 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 Eileen. <laughs> I need to stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to see what this is. Oh my gosh. Let me show you this. Look at how cute this is. This is beautiful. You see this? Thank you so much. I'm going to hang this up right now. This is so pretty. I'm going to hang it above my dream catcher. Thank you, Eileen. I appreciate you. It's like Christmas. Okay, so anyways. Let me stop. Okay, so um, let me continue. Um, What else I've also got for you guys is that I feel like somebody is in like the state of grief. Okay. Over your situation. And I feel like someone keeps asking why you keep succeeding. Someone doesn't understand why you keep succeeding or why positive things keep happening in your life. Okay. This could be someone who like could have judged you or deemed you as someone who wasn't going to do anything with their life or um, I don't know, or could have written you off in the past but now this person this person seeing you succeed seeing you fly and they don't understand why and that fucking rhymed okay <laughs> i also um got something about the word legacy so some of you are are meant to leave some sort of legacy here on this earth and i feel like it has to do a lot with the 11th house because this card is looking at me okay so this card says for humanity's sake. So whatever your legacy has to do with, it's it's to help humanity in some way. Okay. 
and it also ties into some sort of um something that has to do with future generations i'm also getting uh you guys could be seeing a lot of crows this could be your confirmation or someone could be monitoring you spiritually or physically to see what your next steps are or what your next moves are okay we've been getting that but someone's nosy as hell okay they 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 know more about your life than their own goddamn life is what i feel like is going on here okay i also got um something about love rises So maybe you guys could be doing, the reason why you are succeeding is because you're doing something out of love, okay? You're doing something out of the purity of your heart and someone else could be operating out of like, not their heart, okay? Something like that. Okay, somebody could be from Minnesota, Virginia, Colorado, New Mexico. Somebody here could be a Virgo or someone could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. Ooh. I also was getting something about a nurse. Okay, so this could either be a nurse that's going to be mixing up medication. I keep getting this. I got that like a couple months ago, I think. Like a nurse is going to end up, someone's going to mix up some sort of medication, like from a two milligram to like a six, milli six milligram. Or they're going to give someone a six milligram instead of a two milligram pill or something, meds. Okay, or someone's going to overdose. Something like that is significant. Okay, and this has to do with like pharmaceutical pills. Okay. I also got this saying, as easy as one, two, three. <sighs> so I don't know if someone's trying to do some sort of spell that happens in threes, or you're doing some sort of manifestation and you have to do something in threes, or chanting in three, or something in threes, as easy as one, two, three, okay? Or someone feels like that's how your life is. They feel like you, your life is easy as one, two, three, okay? But maybe this person doesn't realize the the actual things that you have to go through on a day-to-day -day, okay um i'm also getting something about the month of june is significant okay this could be somebody's birthday or somebody somebody's definitely going to see some sort of abundance okay some evidence of this in june or from now till june of this year okay someone's name could be warren someone's name could be david someone's last name could be lee Oh yeah, damn. Okay, so somebody could be a Gemini or someone could have Gemini somewhere in their chart and someone could be a Leo or someone could have Leo somewhere in their chart. I also got something about a seven-year-old um, and Amber Alert. Okay, so something about that is significant. Okay, something about a silver car. All right, somebody here could be um, Navajo. I also got something about the video game Animal Crossing is significant. Okay, I know that sounds random, but I, I'm doing what I'm told. I'm also getting like somebody sits in their nook a lot. Somebody has a nook. And they sit there and they like reflect, okay? something about um oh and when you do that you're not alone okay what else someone wears a lot of camo okay or be cautious of, of a certain individual that's wearing camo or something this could be a warning or a confirmation i also got uh <laughs> well i guess they Oh, yeah. Um, and spirit wants you to have the courage to say no to things at this time. It's okay to say no. Okay. 
Then I got something about the angel number 165. Um, it says angel number 165 is a cue from your guardian angels that you are at a challenging level in your life because you can win or fall. In other words, you have to be strong and focus on the best ways that will push you through. Besides the pain you're facing now will become your victory. Before, therefore, you need to work tirelessly because sometimes you will feel you will feel satisfied. Um, and then it says, equally learn to grow yourself by becoming a hard worker and having authority over your life. Damn. They want you to trust that the right time. What is this? It is the right time to trust your work. Okay. Or trust that you know what you're doing. This is for somebody. I don't know. This could be like, well, for instance, never mind. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, they want you to remain positive and keep your hopes high and be focused on your goals. That's basically what that means. What else? What else? Um, what else? Then I also got something. Um, Jeffrey is headed west. I don't know. I don't know if you're headed west, like, compass-wise, directionally, or, or something about, like, the... Yeah, directionally. That's, yeah. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels can tell me more. Who else is involved in this situation? Or what signs? We got cancer. Somebody could be in ca a cancer or have cancer somewhere in their chart. Tell me more. We have Pisces. Somebody could be a Pisces or they could have Pisces somewhere in their chart. One more. Yeah, you guys need to rest your mind, okay? I'm getting a lot of, like, overthinking. Okay, yeah, they don't want one more. It's done. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get into the cards and see what we got here. That, that I was going to call it a painting. This, this drawing, or this art, is beautiful. Sorry, I just keep looking at it. Okay, let me keep going. Okay. So something about your third eye is significant. Maybe your third eye is um getting some sort of like upgrade. I'm getting something about like somebody's penile gland is decalcifying. I'm also getting like somebody's trying to tap into your intuition. By using some sort of some sort of lower, darker energy is what I feel like with this. I'm also getting if you're feeling like somebody is up to no good or somebody's being used by the devil to tempt you in some way, you need to listen to your you need to listen to your intuition. Okay, trust your gut on that. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Especially because you guys are becoming so close to something good, okay? I feel like that's why this is coming. We have new beginnings. New beginnings is definitely on the horizons for you guys. We have solar plexus chakra, number three. Okay, so you guys, um, you guys really need to start believing in yourself right now. We got a worry, okay? Yeah, you guys could be worrying a lot. It says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And then we have surrender. I can release my need to control. Okay. And then we have patience at the bottom of the deck. It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Spirit has a plan. Okay. <sighs> what else do they need to hear, Spirit? What? Ooh. 
Not again. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna let a secret out. Is what I feel like is going on here. Someone's gonna finally, like, try to, someone's finally gonna, um, come forth and tell the truth when it comes to something about your guys' situation. I'm also getting like somebody here could have been calling you lazy or something. I'm also getting like whatever money spell somebody was trying to send at you, this spell is gonna break. Like it's not gonna touch you. This this money spell could be returning back to this person. This person now could be in regret. This person might be coming towards you to tell you I miss you. I'm so I'm annoyed about I'm annoyed about this fucking storyline already. Why do we have more? Somebody here wants to cross your boundaries. Yeah, this person that says I miss you. They want to cross your boundaries. They know that something good is going to be returning to you. Or they know that you're about to get some sort of good karma. This is someone who laughs at your pain. This is someone that doesn't listen to their intuition. Someone here wants to repeat history with you and keep you in some sort of karmic cycle, but you have new beginnings coming towards you. Please do not go back to the past, okay? I know this is Mercury retrograde, so a lot of that is coming up. Why do we have patience? Yeah, somebody here could have put some sort of love spell on you. So you guys could be like randomly thinking about somebody from your past. This could be family, lover, business, friend, coworker, blah, blah, blah. You could be randomly thinking about this person in a positive way. And it's possible that somebody could have, um, and maybe you don't even think about this person, okay? This could be the result of some sort of love spell that somebody is trying to, or did put on you, okay? In order for you to... Put down your walls and let them back into your life. Or to forget the fucked up things that they've done to you or said to you. Yeah, this person... Th this person is doing this because their life is in a downward spiral. This person also could be very lonely at this time. I'm also getting this person doesn't like the fact that you trust your gut here. It says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And this person knows that since you do trust your intuition, they know they cannot defeat you or get over on you. Okay. Listen, a lot of you have been through a lot of shit. And that really made you fucking strong. Something about your courage. Someone here could could admire your courage. Okay. I'm also getting like somebody with this four swords. I'm also getting like somebody might want to come in and like. I don't know. Say they want to heal. I don't know, or heal a relationship or a situation. What do we have in the beginning? You guys could have a new beginning when it comes to your love life here. There's someone here that has been gossiping about you guys as secrets in order to, um, make you feel insecure okay someone wants to like diminish your confidence in some way spirit wants you to know that you have uh, protection from a powerful friend here spirit wants you to know that your new beginning is protected okay regardless of whatever this person is their plans are here okay i'm also getting like someone really doesn't want you to have a new beginning with somebody here 
or to meet someone new that's true for you. That <laughs> rhymed. Okay. Right after love, we have crib. So maybe this person, if you are of childbearing age, when you meet this person, you could end up being pregnant or get pregnant quickly with this person. It says birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Okay. This child could end up be being born next February. That's not for everybody, but I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Thank you. Listen, somebody... <laughs> yeah, Spirit wants you to know that you are warring over nothing. Great worry over nothing, okay? We have carrot here. It says opportunity or windfall. So you guys are definitely getting some sort of windfall here or some sort of opportunity that's being presented to you. Somebody could have been trying to block this by some sort of gossips or trying to like dig up dirt on you to like make you undesirable for like job opportunities, um, pe friends, relationships, whatever. Okay. We have Fox here. It says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay. So some of you could be worried about like entering like, um, I don't even know what this is. Like maybe business, like starting your own business. Or working in business? I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah. We have hills here. It says opportunity, not opportunities. It says obstacles to overcome. Okay. So this is the biggest thing either you or someone else needs to overcome is control, wanting to control the outcome to something, okay? You need to remember to have patience. Like, I feel like you need to let, you need to let the divine take care of the rest of whatever this is. Tell me more. Yeah, there's a two-faced friend. There's someone that wants to come in and get information from you. This could be the person that wants to come in and, like, find new tea to, like, gossip about you. To either block you from some sort of new beginning. Or to make you feel insecure or feel less than or not worthy, okay? I'm also getting, like... Somebody here also wants to screw you out of some sort of deal. Okay. Yeah, this is someone who feels like they're lacking something in their life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Maybe this is someone who doesn't have a lot going on for themselves. This two-faced friend. Tell me more. Yeah, spirit wants you to go have fun. You guys could be working too hard. Yeah, there's someone new that's going to be entering your life here, okay? And then you have an arrogant person here that you're going to have to deal with temporarily. This could be this two-faced friend. We have rooster and tent. Why do I feel like someone's sleeping in their car? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this two-faced friend that they need to... Who is this two-faced friend here? There could be a two-faced friend that wants you to, like, go out and have fun with them or invites you out. Somebody, somebody's birthday could, or birth year could be 1946, 1958, 1970, 1982... 
1994, 2006. Someone here owns a dog. Someone's a dog owner. And someone else is a cat owner. Something like that is significant. Tell me more. Who is this? We have Aquarius. Someone here could be an Aquarius. Somebody could have a two-faced friend that's an Aquarius that's trying to get information on them. Okay. This could be somebody in your family or somebody that you had a past connection with. Okay. This person could be a masculine energy or I'm talking to someone who is a masculine energy. And for some of y'all, this also could be your false uh, twin flame. Listen, what the hell is this? So there's an admirer that you have that could be a Sagittarius, okay? Or you are a Sagittarius and you have an admirer here. This this admirer is very nearby you. But they they like to stay at a distance from you. Someone is distantly admiring you. But maybe this person feels spiritually close to you. This is the person that is protecting you. This could be an actual person or some sort of angelic being, one or the other. I don't fucking know. Or both. This one. Somebody's going to rat on themselves. Someone here is going to tell on themselves when it comes to some sort of situation. Yeah, we got drama queen here. We have thirsty causing chaos. And then we have hamster wheel surviving daily hustle. Someone might want to come in and try to hustle you. I'm also getting like, somebody might come in. Somebody who, this drama queen also could be someone who's worried about how intuitive you are. Because they're worried if, if they're going to be able to like confuse you bamboozle you scam you out of something they're worried that it's not going to work they could be sending in some sort of two-faced friend or this is your two-faced friend tell me more about this yeah someone's gonna come begging back begging back someone's gonna come begging for you okay or gonna try to like compromise with you okay somebody feels like they can't resist you or something that was weird Someone's been trying to to cock block your new beginning, basically, okay? Someone's becoming, someone's behaving really childish at this time. Okay, it could be two to more people. Someone here could be feeling alone or broken or sad or weighed down. Why do we have this? And some of you could be noticing that you have telepathic um, abilities. Spirit wants you to cleanse your home, your house, your car, whatever it is. Okay, cleanse your space from any negativity or remove people that you know aren't on your vibrational level. Tell me more. I also feel like someone's going to come in and try to tell you about someone else's secrets in order for you to like, in order to control some sort of decision that you make when it comes to someone. Okay. Like someone wants to confuse your decision making. Tell me more. <laughs> what the heck?
Listen. I feel like a lot of you, this new beginning is coming because you guys did a lot of healing when it comes to your childhood. Like your childhood wounds, right? I'm also getting like... There's someone here that wants to come in and work something out with you, but this person is still like not emotionally available or this person is emotionally manipulative. This could be a Scorpio, don't have to be. I'm also getting like your feelings for this person are dead. You could have met this person at work, don't have to be. I'm also getting something about a security guard. What the fuck is going on? Listen, this is some bomb-ass cards. We got Ten of Pentacles and we got Nine of Cups. We got Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. People could be gossiping about you at church or a church. This also could be your family. Or some sort of government or agency or someone was telling someone a company a corporation a church a family a gathering uh some sort of secrets about you okay out of their own selfish reasons okay is also what i'm getting yeah they wanted to like not people they didn't want people to see like your worth okay I'm also getting like something is being blocked from someone now like somebody's ancestors and angels are no longer working with this person or this person's like not being if this is someone someone else who's also like spiritual this person's ancestors and angels are like no more they're like not fucking with this person I don't even know what that would be called I feel like there's a word for that And I also feel like someone was really happy when they saw you struggle. I'm also getting like, you could be single and okay and someone else here finds it a burden to be alone. Okay, you could be someone who has an abundant mindset and someone else here who, who can't See, they, they don't see the world in an optimistic way, is what I feel like. I'm also getting for whoever was gossiping about you or, or spreading your secrets around or whatever, you're going to be getting some sort of justice, okay? I'm also getting the truth is going to be coming out soon, okay? I also feel like some of you could be winning like a large sum of money. This could even be like a court case when it comes to slander. Someone could be winning money because of that. I'm also getting like someone's worried that you're going to reject them. And that something, they're worried that something is finally, like something is over, like done. Like it cannot be brought back to life or something. Tell me more. Someone here could have taken their sweet ass time to come in and offer you something. I'm also getting this person could feel like an idiot. This person now could be heartbroken. I'm also getting this put this person put through put you through a lot of pain and heartache, okay? But I feel like now you're free of that. You guys could have been dealing with the King of Wands. An Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or this is your sign. Put it where it needs to go. Yeah, somebody here is going to get some sort of tower moment here. This is not good. Someone's going to be left out in the cold. I feel like someone here is going to, like, leave someone to come be with someone else. Is also what I'm getting. And with this separation, someone's not going to be able to financially support themselves. Okay, or someone did this to you in the past. Place it where it needs to go. Someone here could have been really heartless. 
but I feel like you were able to overcome this. I'm also getting like the fact that someone refuses to surrender to the divine or this is someone who thinks they are God. This person is going to get a wake up call to the point where they might even like actually believe that there is a God. Something like that is significant. This is giving me like someone's going to hit rock bottom. Okay. We got the devil here. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be though. We have the devil with the tower card. Things aren't going well for the devil. Okay. Tell me more. Listen. Someone cannot move on from you. They see you as their fucking sunshine. But I also feel like this person sees you like a charging port. Like this is like your narcissist supply. Like you're the best narcissist supply. This is why someone cannot get away from you. I'm also getting this person could be in the five of pentacles because you are you have cut off like your energy from this person. This person could be upset because they... They're upset because they cannot control you or they no longer have control over you. Because it says, I can release my need to control. Maybe this person is realizing that they have control issues and their lack of releasing control has caused some sort of tower in their life. Maybe this person was overly obsessive with putting you in the five of pentacles, trying to play God in your life. And now uh, shit's about to get wrecked and you're going to be there celebrating when it comes to something. Or there could be up to three people here who are going to experience some sort of tower moment because they refuse to leave you alone anymore. Yeah, we got the seven of swords. So you have a two-faced friend here that betrayed you in some way or did something fucking sneaky or someone is going to try to leave you somewhere when you're, when, okay. I feel like you guys could have a two-faced friend, family member, coworker, boss, whatever. Whoever this two-faced person is, they might invite you to go out somewhere. Okay? But this person might really just plan to leave you somewhere. Stranded. That's for some of you. Okay? For others of you, this person... This two-faced this two -faced friend could have been sleeping with somebody's man. Your man, even. Or someone here is lying straight to your fucking face. I feel like they have to continue to become... They have to continue to come up with more and more creative lies. Yeah, the truth is going to come out about this person's lies and deceptions here. Or you're going to finally see this person clearly. Okay. Yeah, you need to... You need to, um... You need to protect yourself from this person. Protect your happiness from this person and your peace of mind because someone in here does not want you to have your peace of mind. This is someone you could have walked away from and because you walked away from them, you your life was full or your life has been more abundant, okay? You got a lot of positive movement forward coming here. Someone here could be in pain or in agony because this is happening for you. I'm also getting though like, all your pain was not in vain. Spirit is going to bless you for something, okay? I could be talking to a high priestess here. Damn, there's a lot of cards here. There's a queen of swords that could be stressing out. Who can't sleep at night because you're stable. Or they're stressing out about their own stability. Maybe their money is coming in slow. Maybe your money is coming in slow. Place it where it needs to go. Regardless, somebody's money is about to get... Is you about to get something big here. Something that's long-lasting. Okay? And a lot of people have been fighting over this. I feel like someone might come in and, like, offer you, offer you just, like, one pentacle. But in actuality, you're supposed to get this much. Plus this one. Can you tell me more?
This could be like a businessman even that's also working with three individuals. And if this man's like not a business owner or a banker, this person could be um, and someone's accountant or a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that you've dated. Okay, we have Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. I feel like all of this was divinely orchestrated to happen. I'm also getting like, someone was taking orders. I'm also getting like someone is finally starting to get some sort of, they're starting to develop some sort of like um, conscience of sorts. I don't know what this fuck, someone's going to end up surrendering control or something and they're going to break down and spill the tea on something is what I feel like. Maybe this person, f someone's going to the hospital. Somebody out of this group saw somebody go to the hospital. It could have been even like a religious leader or something. So, or the leader, the, 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 the leader of the pack when it comes to this situation, they, they could have ended up, they could have witnessed this person get hauled off in an ambulance. They were working with each other. They were planning something against the Queen of Wands. Now maybe this person is scared. I don't fucking know. I need to stop cooking. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? I don't know if I want to get Big, big Bertha out. Yeah, look, we have abundance is an attitude. You could be someone who practice, uh, practices gratitude on the daily. Yeah, these people are nothing but cockroaches. I'm also getting someone could have cockroaches in their goddamn house. We have no empathy, have an ass motherfuckers. So these people had no empathy for your situation or what they were doing to you. But now they want to come in and reunite with you. Because whatever plans that they had for you is not working out. Because you have protection from a powerful friend. This could be somebody in the physical, or this could be God himself. Tell me more. We have intentions is everything. God saw these people's intentions. Regardless if their plans have worked out or not, their intentions, the, the emotions and intentions that they had in their heart, is going to bring about some sort of tower moment here. These people allowed the devil to take over them. And take over their actions and their free will. Okay. We have fake laugh. Someone here could have a fake laugh. Okay. Or they fake laugh with you. Something's going to happen in the next 24 or 48 hours. We got cockroach with Tinder date. <laughs> you guys could have went on a tender date with with someone who let me just keep going we got attempted homicide y'all need to be careful with these goddamn dating apps holy spirit holy angels tell me more what's going on here someone could be getting in trouble for a attempted homicide yeah somebody here has a lot of strange vibes you need to pay attention to this person because this person does not have good intentions for you whoever this person was strange vibes something about offshore accounts is significant here I do this. we have secret bank account bank account in your name there's some sort of secret bank account in your name here maybe your cousin knows about this okay Something's going to end up on Fox News here about some sort of attempted murder and someone not having empathy. This could be a water sign that's going to end up on Fox News, okay, or your water sign. Place it where it needs to go. I'm also getting there's a water sign around you, a Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, that could have some fucking strange vibes. You need to pay attention to this motherfucker, whoever you thought of. Yes, that person. Tell me more. What else do they need to know? Ooh, Damn. That's way too much. What else do they need to know, Spirit? What else do they need to know? <sighs> Listen. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with an O. 
Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with the AT. We have two. Or OT. Interesting. Someone could be 70 years or above. Listen. Somebody could have copywritten someone's work. Someone here has, has cruel intentions for somebody here. This is someone who's really arrogant, okay? Uh, I think I know what this is, but I don't feel like I should say it on the internet. Um, somebody here could be of Jewish descent, okay? Someone here could be wondering why you're still alive because they keep putting death spell after death spell after death spell on you and you're still here. And if it's not on you, it could be on your finances and your stability and they don't understand why you're not living in a fucking tent. Okay? We have appreciating where you are right now. So you could be someone who is grateful for what you have in the present moment, okay? And you're somebody who believes in yourself. I feel like the people that are in this situation don't know how to do that tell me more someone's gonna come in line to you we have someone you blocked will try to reach out to you yeah blah 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 i'm so tired of the storyline <laughs> i'm gonna end this one early you guys can be seeing the angel number is 12 12 okay and then it says someone said you were a gold digger because they weren't mess you weren't messing with no broke broke and someone here is part of some sort of dark coven that you're gonna find out soon tell me more spirit this could have been somebody that you met on a tender date okay or someone you dated in the past this could have been a capricorn uh virgo or taurus okay or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone could be an Aries that's part of this uh, dark coven or is like the leader of it. Tell me more. Yeah, someone wants to act like they're going to give you some sort of advice or guidance here. Or this is what they this coven... Um, presents themselves as like they give advice or guidance to people like they're helping people or something mm -mm. these people could have sex with animals like goats and horses this is fucking gross yeah somebody's false flame is part of some sort of dark coven here. I don't want to do it all day. <clears throat> I'm done. I'm wrapping it up, Bertha. What else do we need to know? Damn, yeah. Someone here is extra triggered by you. Someone's extra triggered because they, they can't have control over you. Okay? And they don't... They, this is a control freak. They're overly obsessed over your light. It makes them angry. Look, we got shine. Your light irritates their demons. They want to stop you at all costs. This could be someone who's fake flexing. This is someone who like pretends they have more than they can afford. This is someone who could be who acts like they're better than you because of how much they have or their possessions, their material possessions or the clothes they wear or whatever it is. It says acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. Okay. This is someone that you got triggered, okay? It's like, how dare you be happy walking in your payless shoes? Like, uh, because they're $12.99, bitch. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I need to stop. Listen, we have last chances. It says they lost their chance or you did. So someone's upset because they know they can't reunite with you or they can't play with your heart no more or whatever the fuck. Okay? 
Now, this person that's fake flexing could be a man or it could be a woman. Place it where it needs to go. This could be somebody's best friend. This could be somebody's sister. This could be somebody's aunt. Okay, someone's mom. This could be anybody. Your ex, whatever. Okay? Someone here has a bad reputation or they have left a bad rep in your own mind. Okay? They left a bad taste in your mouth and you ain't trying to try it again. Yeah, this person could have put you in some sort of love tri triangle, okay? Or tried to, like, get in the middle of something. Yeah, this person keeps creeping and spying and wondering what the fuck you're up to. This could be happening in the physical or the spiritual or both, okay? Yeah, this person just wants to come in and waste your time. And this person now feels stuck because their life is not changing, okay? Or they could be limited by a lot of things. I'm also getting like... Never mind. We have jackpot. It says winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. Some of you are going to be getting some sort of unexpected money here. And I feel like somebody could be running out of time to try to block you from this. Someone wants you to stop ignoring them. Whoever this fake flexor is, tell me more. Yeah, someone here could be abusing some sort of divination in order to to spy on you. Someone knows that they lost their chance with you. Every time they get readings, they're hoping that they're going to get a different answer. But it's the same answer. Like, they lost their chance with you. It's done. We also have caught a case. Sexual infection, sexual disease, rash. So someone here could have some sort of sexual disease or whatever. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, or someone wants to come in and give you one. Yeah, this person could be tripping out on you because you were ignoring them and you don't want to be part of some sort of third party or whatever, whatever this is. Yeah, you have this person blocked, okay? You no longer want this person in your energy. Yeah, somebody feels like you're home or somebody wants you to come back home, okay? Someone misses the times that you were silly or you let you you make this person feel like playful or something. Or they make you make them feel free or something. And somebody's somebody's mad that you're smart. Okay, and someone's going to get embarrassed soon, and something exciting is going to happen for you. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Someone's using a youth, a, a you, what's it called? I can't even fucking talk. Someone's using a youth, a Ouija board. God damn. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What the fuck is going on here? Someone's been using a Ouija board. Spirit wants you to be certain that you have nothing but good luck around you and coming towards you and that you are fucking protected. Okay? Affirm that into the universe, please. Damn! Change is definitely coming in for you and it's for the better. Okay? And somebody here could have been doing some sort of weird one, two, three spills or something on you. They could have been using candle magic. Hmm. Yeah, somebody was trying to use some sort of spells in order to fragment your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul. Okay, this person was trying to put a death to a lot of things in your life. This is someone that does not love themselves, okay? We have projection at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who just, their own self-hatred. They're trying to, I'm so annoyed by this. <laughs> so annoyed. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? Yeah, someone here was trying to trip you up, follow, or uh, make you fall. Something about paper paperwork that has been mixed up is now going to be cleared up. 
I'm also getting like someone was mocking your work or or mocking what you do here. Okay, somebody, somebody's being looked at as a weird ass bitch and or dude, and somebody here is gonna get caught. Somebody's getting caught, and you definitely have a two faced friend. Who is this two faced friend? I thought we answered this before. Who is this two faced friend? Didn't I say it was Aquarius? Yeah. Tell me more. Someone's gonna try to do something to you when you're not looking. Okay, okay. What kind of good things can they expect, Spirit? We have divine guidance. It says, the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Okay. You could be a Taurus or you could have Taurus somewhere in your chart. We have eight of Gabriel. It says, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication is coming to you soon. Okay. We have five of Raphael. It says everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. And then we have two of Gabriel. It says make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Damn. Then we have solutions. It says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience forgiving and healing energy listen whatever the fuck you're going through okay if you guys are having financial issues right now you need to not worry about that because you are going to be able to get some sort of communication from the divine through forms of ideas through the form of ideas or whatever inspiration that's going to be a solution to some sort of money issue that you have that you could be experiencing right now and if this is not money this could be like um you not having a peace of mind when it comes to something whatever okay whatever it is whatever you've been wishing for is coming through nine of raphael says make a wish dreams become a reality a joyful time of life i also feel like it's important to make to make your plans okay get your ducks in a row okay holy spirit holy angels what else do they need to hear and then I got to wrap this up. What do they need to hear, Spirit? We have soul family. So you guys are coming in. You guys are about to come together with your soul family. It says, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So you guys are definitely going to be meeting like-minded individuals here that are going to be helping you. It says, pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Gosh dang. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. And then we have star seed. So I could be talking to a star seed. It says, what lights you up? Spirit wants you to start focusing and focusing on the things that you were passionate about. Things that make you get your juices going. You know what I mean? Make the wheels turn. Make you feel, make you have like some sort of like zealous for life. Okay. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? No, I don't want this. Yeah, it has to involve with some sort of creative expression. It says your soul longs to express itself creative creatively. Some of you could be writers. Okay. Some of you could be wanting to go back to school to learn something. Okay some sort of subject this could even be being like you want to go back to school to learn some sort of like healing mo modality okay we have the answer that you're seeking involves going to school okay we have oracle cards here maybe you guys want to learn how to read tarot it says you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others i'm gonna tell you this in the beginning of my journey reading my own cards really helped me discover myself and who i am and helped me identify like what i needed to work on in the inside okay i mean i still do it now but you know what i'm saying i love it 
we have teaching i recommend it we have teaching it says you inspire young people to learn so some of you may want to go back to school to be a teacher of some sort or to help kids in some way we have books it says you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books i'm also getting like all of these that i'm laying out right now whatever your purpose is okay whatever the divine is bringing to you that is considered justice and balance okay i feel like all of this was being done because this man right here this thing okay this energy knows that if you had that financial means you would be able to make a very positive impact okay on the people around you and possibly the world okay this isn't that's a no no okay i'm also getting the devil in your life is going to get exposed whatever is hiding in the dark is going to be revealed okay is also what i'm getting here we have your career brings fairness and protection to others who need help so you also could be wanting to open your own nonprofit, okay or work at a nonprofit place of where needs to go holy spirit holy angels thank you we have editor someone's a writer or a journalist it says your writing or other creative projects benefit from outside help and support So maybe you're going to find a like-minded person who's part of your soul tribe to help you write some sort of book here. We have classes. It says learning and teaching are part of your higher calling. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have express your inner truth. It says your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. And spirit wants you to pay attention to your dreams because you're going to be getting some sort of message soon and it's coming in quickly. It's going to help solve a lot of questions to your, or so, wait, yeah, solve a lot of questions and for answers. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. We have pay attention to your dreams. You are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you okay okay all right guys this is gonna be the end of your reading don't forget to like comment share subscribe it really does help out the channel okay and until next time i love you okay bye